guys, I'm Vanessa, and today I'm gonna be making Nicaraguan tamales for the first time. So, I grew up with naca tamales, which are the tamales that we're gonna make today. They are made of corn masa, they have vegetables inside, they have pork, they are delicious, and usually we have them every Sunday morning. But I've never tried to make them because I'm kind of intimidated, I'm not gonna lie. I've heard they're very difficult to make, they take a long time, and it's a huge, arduous process, but we're gonna give it a try, and at the end, my mom is gonna try them, I'm gonna try them, and we're gonna see if they're legit or not. Apologies to my fellow Nikas out there. Um, if I mess this up, I'm sorry. All right, so let's get started. We need three cups of instant masa, two and a quarter cups of water, warm water, and you're gonna mix this until you get this texture. You can add water if you need some until you achieve this. Once you achieve this texture, you can make a little ball like if you were to make a tortilla and press it down with your fingers and it doesn't stick to your fingers. So once you reach that, you're good to go. And this is what we're gonna need. Mint, three tomatoes, two red peppers, half of an onion, six garlic cloves, and one potato. And have one cup of washed rice in a cup of water on the side and we're gonna chop everything up to make the seasoning for our masa. So here I'm chopping three tomatoes, as well as the bell peppers and half of the onion. And in the blender, you're gonna add six cloves of garlic, one cup of water, and a whole lot of mint, like this much. So now we have to blend, blend, blend. Until you get this mixture, and this is what it looks like. Very nice, and very pretty. Next, you're gonna strain the sauce to avoid getting any of the seeds or any of the big chunks into the masa. And once you have strained it, you can start mixing. But before we add that, you have to add about a teaspoon of achiote or anato, anato, anato. anato. Add two tablespoons of salt and mix this. Make sure to mix it really well. Make sure there's no clumps. And what I did is I used a whisk at the end so everything is nice and smooth. Look how pretty that looks. And I moved it to this big pot. And here, you don't really see it, but I added one cup of lard. So my tip is to actually heat up the lard in the pan before you add the mixture. That was my bad, but try to heat up the lard before and then add the mixture and keep on stirring. You're gonna have to keep on stirring. Don't stop stirring. That is the key. Do not stop stirring until you get this texture, which is a very thick masa. And you can see that the color changed because of the achiote or anato. So this is what we're gonna use to assemble. Here I have a pound of pork and a pound of pork ribs which I have marinated overnight. So we're gonna need a big square of aluminum foil and two plantain leaves, which I pass through hot water. Make sure you read the instructions when you buy the plantain leaves to know how to prepare them. And I'm gonna add two clumps of the masa, a tablespoon of rice, a slice of potato, some peppers, onions, tomatoes, a little bit of that mint. And finally, we're gonna add some of that pork, pork rib, and we're ready to fold it all up. So I made sure that the bottom plantain leaf and the aluminum foil are kind of like in a diamond shape. Both of the edges lined up together like this, and then you can fold everything down until you reach the filling, and then we're gonna fold each side. And here I'm feeling out where the filling is so I can kind of cut it off there and make sure to fold the little ends and you're ready to go. This is how it should look once it's all folded. And we're gonna need some butcher's twine or cooking twine to fold the tamal. The best way to get how to fold it is by just looking at how I'm doing it because you can't really explain it. But just make sure that you tie it very tightly and nicely so none of the water gets into the tamal when I cook it. And there you go. This is what it should look like. We have the little knot in the back and it is very secure and ready to go. So I cook my tamales in a pressure cooker. This is an electric pressure cooker and I added about two cups of water in there and I set it for 45 minutes. So if you're gonna make it in a conventional pot, just make sure you add a lot of water and cook this for about three to four hours. 
Um, and this is what it should look like once it's done. Look how beautiful, we did it. Oh my gosh, you guys, look how gorgeous that looks. I can't believe I did that. All right, you guys, so we have made our naka tamales. They took forever. It took about six hours, so um, it was very difficult to make, so this better taste good. Cheers. It tastes really good, it tastes authentic. The flavor of the pork is delicious. The flavor of the masa is on point. I am very impressed, I am very happy, and I am very glad that I did not spend eight hours just making tamales that didn't taste good because they tasted good. Let's see what my mom says. Como lo ves? Se ve, se ve bonito. Sí. Se ve bonito, vamos a ver. Mmm, está rico. Sí. Sí, porque qué bueno el sabor, todo, la papa quedó bien. Te doy con 10. Un 10. Uh -huh. Ya puedo vender entonces. Ya puedo vender. <laughs> Definitivamente. All right, guys. I am very proud of myself. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what I should try to make next in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.